I'm Jenna. <laughs> I work mainly in the lab doing early stage research. I'm a scientist also in research. He kind of has his own space and zone that he created that's pretty cool. Spinning, there's things shaking. There's yeah. pumps. Pumps, that's right. Sometimes there's air blowing, balloons Freezer, going. Yeah. yeah, so it's, they have a lot going on over there. This is, this is Ben, Ben Schuler. Ben, ben pretty much is in charge of the research facility that Ben helped build from the ground up. So this is Terrence Satterfield. He's a, uh, are you senior scientist mm -hmm. one now? Senior scientist. Developed countless cell, cell-based assays, developed a, uh, several different toolkits for the scientists to use. Ben, ben does a great, great job at it. I get to see a lot of the different projects in the very early stage and through exploratory and preparing to get into our uh, clinical pipeline. And so I can sort of see what are the priority projects at that point and kind of get an understanding about which one of the projects are the most promising. He's empathetic to the scientists, right? Like he takes the effort to really understand what are they really trying to achieve. Couldn't do that if you weren't a nice guy. <laughs> I definitely like interfacing with the different departments and groups and kind of seeing how things work. It's like a building block, and you put, you know, the research block into the whole puzzle, and you see how it operates with everything else around it. That's one of the things that's really cool about Bomberin. We can have a research meeting, and you know, a few people from Medifairs or clinical will come in and just sit in the back and listen and, you know, give their input on the clinical side, right? So you can just ask them a question. You know, we don't have to be researchers here and, you know, clinicals here, right? We can be all together in one. One of the things I've learned is that you get very emotionally attached to your projects, which can be heartbreaking if, you know, it doesn't work out, but it's something you can use to motivate yourself for the next project. I still want to keep that connection with the patients. You know, I like how they come over here and visit us and we have videos of, you know, from the first patient we treated. It's developing drugs for, you know, people that need it is really cool, right? I mean, you, you get to come in every day and say, okay, yesterday was really hard, but, you know, today I'm gonna come in and keep grinding and, you know, hopefully we can develop a new therapeutic. Like, what, what more do you want than that? <laughs>